begin this project, you are going to need the following tools. You're going to need a plate where your project will go. You're going to need your clay to build your project. You're going to need your table's container of slip or watered down clay. And then you're going to need a tool to score into your clay. You can use a knife, a pin tool, or even these wooden tools that have serrated edges. Now you're going to start building your project. We're going to be using a coiling method of clay. To begin your coil, you're going to rip off a piece of clay and start rolling it in your hands until you make a kind of snake. Then you're going to place that snake on the table and begin rolling with your fingertips to expand on the snake. You wanna try and keep your coil even and no thinner than your pinky finger. Now, you're going to need to score both top and bottom of your coil. I'm going to use the serrated wooden tool because it's going to easily scratch into my clay. I need to make sure that the marks go deep into the clay and are easily seen. This will make sure that I get a good strong hold with my clay. Now, it is time to start rolling my coils. Before I begin, I need to take the slip and I need to put the slip on top of the scored part of my clay. This is going to act as a type of glue that's going to permanently hold my clay together when it dries. If I don't do this, my clay is likely to pop apart. Now I'm going to score back into my clay because I may have gotten rid of some of the score marks by slipping. Taking one end of my coil, I'm going to start rolling to create a spiral shape. This is going to be the center of my plate. From here, coiling is very easy. I can continue creating this spiral as I'm doing, or I can start building off of my spiral in different directions. Whenever you finish with one coil of clay, you just want to make sure that you are firmly tucking the end of that coil into your spiral or whichever shape you are creating. Now, I'm going to get more clay to continue my design. As I mentioned before, you can start building off in different directions to create your coil project. For this portion of the project, instead of continuing with my spiral, I'm going to add more intrigue to my project by creating smaller spirals that are going to fit along the outside of my main spiral. Continuing the process of rolling, scoring, and adding slip to my coil, I am once again going to start rolling up my coil into a spiral shape, but I'm going to make this one much smaller. Now, I'm going to add some slip to this small spiral, and I'm going to attach this small spiral to the outside of my larger spiral. I'm going to do this all the way around my project. Once you have finished this second layer of your project, it is time to smooth out the design on your project to help create a strong bond between each of your coils. For this project, we're going to be making the top of our plate smooth while the bottom of our plate is going to maintain that really interesting coil design. At this point, it is not important that your project is perfectly smooth, we just wanna mostly smooth all the coils together, once again, to maintain a really strong bond. Once you have secured your coils by smoothing out the top layer, 
you are now going to move on to the next layer of your project. For this assignment, it is completely up to you how you would like to continue with the design of your coils. There are plenty of options and however you personally would like your plate to look is the direction that you should go. For example, you can roll out another coil and continue along the design of your project just using full circles of coils. You can continue with spirals, continuing to add them in all the open spaces. You could even just roll balls of clay and put those in the open spaces. You can even alternate between these designs. I'm going con to continue until I completely fill up my plate all the way to the edge of the plate base that I have. Don't forget, for each coil that you create, you need to slip and score both the top and the bottom of your coil. This is going to create a permanent bond and will help make sure that your project will not fall apart as it starts to dry. Don't forget how important it is to continually smooth out the different layers of your coils to help create a strong bond. I'm now going to use a tool called a rib to perfectly smooth out the top of my plate. Now that I'm done building, it's really important that I have a smooth surface. I won't be able to achieve this after my clay has dried, so I need to do it now. It is okay if your clay starts to push off to the outsides of the plate edge. When you are finished smoothing out your clay, your last step before allowing your clay to dry out is going to be to take your knife and to trim the edges of your plate to ensure a nice, smooth, rounded edge. Once you have completed this step, you have fully completed the plastic play portion of your project.